Welcome to the We On podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we explore how Japan turned a war-shattered nation into the birthplace of the bullet train, uncovering the bold ideas, risky decisions, and brilliant engineering that reduced a seven-hour journey to four and sparked a transport revolution the world never saw coming. It began with a rail network at its breaking point. After World War II, Japan's narrow-gauge rail network was running at full capacity by the mid-1950s due to reconstruction. Tokyo and Osaka, the country's two biggest cities, needed faster connections. The journey took nearly seven hours. Shinji Sogo, president of Japanese National Railways, and Hideo Shima, chief engineer, championed a completely new, standard-gauge high-speed line. Most people thought railways were finished and would be replaced by air travel and highways like in America. The high-speed train idea wasn't entirely new. Japan had planned the Danganresha, or bullet train, before World War II, but abandoned it during the war. Some tunnels and land acquisition from the old plan were reused for the new Shinkansen project. The government approved the project in 1958, and construction began in 1959. The initial budget of nearly 200 billion yen quickly spiraled out of control as technical challenges mounted during construction. The project eventually cost about 380 billion yen, nearly double the original estimate. An $80 million low-interest loan from the World Bank helped cover the shortfall, proving crucial to completing the project. Hideo Shima's team included many former aircraft designers who brought aeronautical innovations to train design. They created the sleek, aerodynamic Zero Series train that inspired the bullet train nickname with its distinctive pointed nose. The project introduced automatic train control and centralized traffic control systems, ensuring unprecedented safety and reliability. Dedicated, obstruction-free tracks and advanced signaling made collisions nearly impossible. The financial mismanagement led to both Sogo and Shima resigning in 1963, just before the line opened. Their sacrifice symbolized the immense responsibility they felt for the project's outcome. The Tokaido Shinkansen began service on October 1, 1964, just before the Tokyo Olympics. The journey between Tokyo and Osaka dropped from nearly seven hours to just four hours, later reduced to three hours, ten minutes. The train reached 100 million passengers in less than three years and became a powerful symbol of Japan's technological prowess and economic recovery on the global stage. Thanks for tuning in to this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned.